thank you, Dr. War, for the kind words. I must say that I am relieved that yes, now I can proudly tell everybody that yes, NPP has chosen me as their candidate. I want to thank every one of you here who have given your valuable time to be with me in this very important occasion. I must say that I was very worried that people would not be able to turn up because it is a weekday. And we also had to change the dates of this program, so I was very worried, I must say. But I can say today that I'm so happy to see everybody's face. Most of you I have met personally because for many months now, we have been going around to ask for you to please see me as a potential leader for 21 Nong Khmer constituency. I would like to express a big, big heartfelt gratitude to our national president of the National People's Party, Mr. Conrad Sangma. Unfortunately, he is not here with us today, but I'm sure that his blessings are with me on this very important day. He is a person that we can consider a role model because of his innovative ideas and also the speed at which he works. I must say that whenever I see our chief minister do anything, I feel so proud. I feel so blessed that yes, we have somebody who's so dynamic and who's so willing to take so many difficult decisions. And I also express my gratitude to our honorable deputy chief minister, Mr. Preston Tinsong. Sir, thank you for gracing this occasion with your presence. You have shown me, sir, that the essence of dedicated work and positive attitude in times of difficulties is so important in a leader. I hope that I will be able to imbibe these great qualities that you show to us. And I still remember a conversation that we had with our state president, Dr. Karluki, with the state working presidents, Ba Sngawbalang Dhar, and also with Dr. Donwar. The other day I went to visit him. I must say that I feel so welcomed into the NPP party. And it is a party that, I must say, also gives a lot of importance to how senior members guide and show the way to us young and novice, you know, leaders in the state. I look forward to future interactions with all the members, dignitaries who are here today. I can see that, yes, I am so lucky to be in the midst of great personalities, to be in the midst of people with vision and people who will be able to tell me exactly what I should do. So I look forward to the following next few months to be able to interact with them and, tell, and to get their advice on how that I should move forward. Yes, many are asking, why would I join the NPP? But I must say that NPP is a party with a vision. It is a party that has a vision on how we can make Meghalaya progressive. 
It is a party that also keeps in mind national standards on how to bring about development in the state. Yes, it is a party that I have been watching now for many a months, and I get amazed at how well they are working together as a team in the midst of all that hardship that has been there during the COVID pandemic situation. So it is with great pride also that I tell you today that even though I have not been formally you know, elected, but our leaders give us so much importance when we go and approach them with issues that are related to our constituency. I must say that I have had a few interactions with a dynamic young chief minister who has been listening so attentively to what are the problems that are there in 21 Nongkumai constituency. And he is listening and he is giving his ideas. And he is also encouraging us by hand-holding us. In the past few months, Nong Thamai has got so many, so many help from our chief minister. Yes, all this is going a long way in helping the residents of Nong Thamai believe that NPP has a vision for us. Nong Thamai constituency. So I must say that I will never be here today without our dedicated team. A team that works tirelessly. A team till today didn't even know, okay, which side are we blowing? But each and every one of our team members has been so dedicated and giving so much of their time that I feel so proud to be a part of this great team. Yes, today we are formally recognizing our block, non block executive committee. I must say that our president is a person that we can look up to. Ba Deng, that we you know, call him very fondly. He is so dynamic. He is so inspirational. And even though now he, his family is in the midst of a hardship, he is here with us today to be with us and to give our team a lot of encouragement. So yes, I'm also in the midst of great, you know, young leaders, who are part of our women's team. I must say that yes, our women folk are so excited that yes, they have a woman representing them. I will do justice to what it is that you expect from me, but I need your help and I need you to be by my side, to show me, to guide me so that all this effort that we put in becomes an effort that will bring us victory in 2023. So yes, with the guidance of all my team members and with the help and you know, just presence of all our team members, I know that we are going to go very far. Today, I reach a milestone in my life, a milestone that probably it's very difficult to even think that we can be in this place wearing these shoes. But yes, I am here today and I have taken this commitment with that awareness that I need to work hard day and night tirelessly to ensure that the lives of residents of Nong Thamai is a life that is going to develop, is a life that will have 
a lot of facilities, and it is a life that will be based on well-being. So yes, in my family, I can remember as young as seven, eight years, when I used to accompany my father, late Peter G. Marbanyang, for his election campaigns to Nong Thamai. At that time, we had Nongram Hills, Bokthi, Bokse, Dum Dum, Nongram Hills, and we also had Nong Shiliang. And I must say that I remember everything that my father did for the people of Nong Thamai. So many years have passed. I thought that no, it's not possible for me to go back. But I must tell you that I feel so much of love and affection when I hear people talk about my father as though it was just yesterday. So people of Nong Thamai love my father so much and I will do justice to what he has started at Nong Thamai. So yes, in my family, we are shown that when we take any responsibility, we should not play around with it. I must tell you that I am so in awe for my uncle, Ba Tony Curtis, who has set the footprints of so many developmental works in the other parts of Nong Thamai. There is a lot that I have to do, and sometimes it overwhelms me. But I know that with your guidance and with your prayers, nothing is impossible. So yes, my brother, R.G. Lingdo, unfortunately was not able to be here with us today. But he is a person who has continued to show us that, yeah, it is so important to be committed and disciplined in life. He is my mentor, and I love and adore him a lot. I'm, I must say, yes, Nao, I am so blessed to be under apprenticeship with my sister, Dr. Amparin Lingdo. She is a hard taskmaster. She still checks on me and gives me surprise questions sometimes to see whether or not I'm doing my homework. So yes, I am with somebody who is not going to allow me to take my responsibility lightly. Because she has told me at the very beginning, Min, as I'm fondly called at home, Min, walk the talk. Don't just complain that life is difficult. You have to walk the talk. Even though she is not here with us today, I know that she is watching me, and she must be so proud today. So yes, it is a family that has given 50 years of political service, of public service. And we are, you know, it's there in our veins, I think, that sometimes I wonder how come I am here today? But I know that I will do justice to this responsibility that has been given on me by the NPP leaders. This journey would be incomplete if I did not mention my husband, Remus Walang, and I have my sisters-in-law there. So, it is incomplete, I must tell you, because he is a person for the last 17 years that I have been with him, has been so committed to social service and uplifting people from difficult conditions in their life. So yes, he is there with me. My daughter, Ariana, and him, couldn't be here with us today because I'm here today taking this important responsibility and he is in Bangalore with her because she has to sit for her 
12th board exams. But when he comes back, he will be as involved as I am today. So yes, the foundations of a dedicated public life is well, you know, instilled in me. And it is something that I cannot take lightly. Because you know what? I must ground myself in reality and not get affected by too many things that can be disrupting for me. In times, this can be overwhelming. In times, yes, sometimes I, I don't get sleep at night thinking, what am I doing? But then I believe that God has a plan for each and every one. And I'm sure that this is a journey that is purposeful for him. So 25 years ago, I came back from Delhi as a clinical psychologist looking for a job in Shillong. My first job was with Dr. Sandy's aim at Suncare, helping people in distress. And that has really grounded me in how important it is not to forget that life sometimes can be very surprising for us. So I thank Dr. Saim for giving me all those, you know, trainings with how we should talk to people, how we should listen to people, and how we should be able to help people cope in their lives. So yes, there's so much of burden that we see in family life today. And this burden gets worse because of financial constraints. So as a person who is committed to uplift society, I will ensure that yes, we look at how families have multiple members who are engaged in employment. Not only that they are engaged in employment, but that they also have well-being and a life satisfaction in their families. The women, the single mothers, and the young, you know, young uh, residents of Nong Thamai are sometimes in distress because of lack of job and financial security. So this will be a very important area that I'm going to work in. With the guidance of all our you know, great personalities sitting on the stage here, I'm sure that we will find a solution for that. So we have to acknowledge that yes, education now is changing. With the COVID, the classrooms and the textbooks have been replaced by learning in the communities and homes. So I must say that yes, it is so important for us to give our young people a chance to experience their learning in a practical way. A chance also for them to know how to become entrepreneurs in their lives. Because you know what? Many a times I see families wasting their money, financial resources, and sometimes getting so frustrated because the young children are unable to complete their studies. So yes, we are going to help all these young people in their vocational, you know, at career guidance. We are going to help children know their aptitudes, their abilities, and match that with the opportunities that is there in the job market. It is futile for parents to send their children for graduation, for post-graduation, and find that they don't get a job. So from a very early age, as young as class eight, we must help our young people to know what entrepreneurship is, so that they, like the Khasis in, in the you know, traditional Khasi families, the 
kayi kapateng ki ong. So these are things that we have to revive in our families. Yes, we are also going to be starting a very important coaching program for our residents of Nong Thamai and for this young people from low-income families who don't have access to private tuitions. So a group of teachers who are also part of our NPP team have taken this responsibility to prepare sessions starting from June up to February next year where we are going to help these young class 10 students to understand question papers, to understand study techniques, to understand how they can manage their time and to be more prepared for their examinations. Last year, when we looked at the results of the class 10 matriculation, 50% passed, 50% were failures. It is so painful to see families, you know, investing their money and then not reaching their goals. So yes, we have to help them. And this is just a pilot study that we are, we are going to start now, which will ca carry on in the next year, in the following year, and we hope to do it in the whole of Meghalaya. So yes, this is an opportunity for me to give back to society what my parents could do for me. What my, each of us, we have to give back to society what our parents could do for us. Many of them are also in distress because you know what? They don't know what subjects to take. So we are going to help these young people who are coming for these coaching programs with their career guidance. So we are so happy to be here today to you know, see this lovely crowd here today and to, you know, the, the room here is glowing with all these flags that we are seeing today. And it is our team giving a message that 2023 is a possible dream. 2023 is something that we will have to work hard for. I cannot do it by myself. I need each and every one of you to believe in me and to give me your right and left hand and to also share with me your ideas on how we can reach our goal of victory and make NPP proud. So yes, thank you to everybody again for sharing your valuable time today. I am so proud to be a family member of the National People's Party. Thank you. Long live NPP.